The Pies have done everything right at the start of their 2019 campaign. That was all encapsulated in the first quarter of Friday Night Footy. We lived a big chunk of the coaching journey of Nathan Buckley here at the desk and we reinvigorate that tonight. Well, they're a good footy team, aren't they? There's no holes in this team anywhere. Grundy well on top early, got a lot on that. Stevens has kicked the second. He is looking the goods and so are Collingwood. Elliott kicks a second, and Collie would have got half a dozen. Gee, they're dangerous forward line. That first 30 minutes was uh, exceptional footy. You get to quarter time, and you've really got no more else to say than, geez, well done, boys. You know, that's how footy played at its best. Collingwood kick goal number seven. They've got September written all over them. So, Nathan Buckley, welcome back to AFL 360. Yeah, it's a celebration. <laughs> Thanks for having me. And you chose to sit on my side. I'm really, really. Yeah, I did. Really they, they offered me that one. I said, no, no. get me close to Robbo. Well done. It's great to have you. Do you back. believe that? No. <laughs> no. Um, it's going well. Yeah, well, the season's. Um, yeah, well, we're seven rounds in now, and speaking to the players um, in review after the weekend, um, you know, it's, it's important. It was important for us after last year to, to get into 19 really quickly to feel our way through that early part of the year and then to reinforce you know, the fact that you are now you know, into a new season and with your own momentum in, in a 2019 sense. So we feel that we've been able to do that. Um, the win-loss looks OK. We're playing some OK footy. We're playing some decent footy um, with improvement in us. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a good basis to build from, but there's still a long way to go. How powerful was the case study of the first quarter for you? Oh look, it was um, it was compelling. Uh, we were very happy with the way that our players executed and went about um, the first quarter in particular, and then the way we um, were able to rebalance after half time um, to the changing um, the changing tactics, I suppose, of, of Port Adelaide, um, and they, they lifted their intensity in the second quarter. We definitely rate what they've been able to do early in the season, and we feel like. Um, yeah, they've played some pretty damaging football. So to be able to defend as well as we did and then go back the other way and, and hit the scoreboard heavily was, um, was a good sign. You said something really interesting, like you're really enjoying your time in footy. Mm. When you cast your mind back two years, mm. if you ever do, do you ever think to yourself, why did I get myself in that state of mind? Do you ever think, God, look at me then to look at me now? Do you ever, do you ever think... Like that? Um, I think it's, it doesn't hurt to um, to reflect on different situations you've endured or different times that you've faced, hardships that you've faced. Um, but no, I don't. I probably don't do it individually as much. Definitely, sort of when you're a, a leader of a football club, you definitely acknowledge the, the hard times that you go through. I think it builds resilience, builds character, uh, it exposes character. There's no doubt. But um, yeah, no, I, I think there's there's so much to look forward to, and and where we're at today, that you know the reflection on the journey generally only comes in moments, um, you know, when you've got a bit more time, when when there's um, you know potentially at the end of campaigns or. Um, you know, I should have flown to Italy and joined the family for a couple of days when you were yeah. relaxed and just reflect on. No, I'm quite. Oh, you've, you've, I'm relaxed at the moment, mate. What do you got for me? I actually, no, no, I, 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 it was funny, you know, when you were on here, there was, there was tension, there's no doubt about that, and I, like everyone, has looked from afar to mm. see what Collingwood did and, and mm. see you, people say change, mm. I thought it was always mm. in there, but it just mm. come out of you more, and your football club and your team's playing really well, and I was, I was joking to you upstairs, I, I, just, I didn't know what to ask you, because mm. I, I, I have seen such change, but I want to go back mm. to... Was there a moment or, or a period of time, Bucks, when what we see now and how we hear you now, that you realise that had to be you, that people had to see more mm. of that side of you? No, not a, not a moment in particular. I mean, when you talk about times over here, there was, you've got to put some context around it. There were some times when I specifically wasn't happy with the way that we'd been reported by you at yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, I um, accept that. And, um, you know, the, the fairness that you just gave Stephen May probably wasn't reciprocated for us at various times. 
But um, I, I think in the end, what you what you do is is as far as personal development goes, is you just get more comfortable. I'm pretty sure the first time you two sat here in this show 10 years ago was probably not as comfortable as you do after your thousandth show. So the more times Astute, you're in... I was shitting myself. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But the more, more times you're in a situation, the more situations you face, um, the the depth and breadth of your experience definitely shapes you as a, as a person. Everyone talks about your relationships now, Nathan. I hear all the players, Adam Trelaw's joined us now on yeah. every second Tuesday and I've spoken to Adam about you, I listen to everyone talk about you, I see, I read stuff about you and people just keep saying he, his relationship strength, which was always pretty solid, has gone to this holistic level, if that's the right word, it's just opened up and... Yeah, well, I, but on that I suppose relationships are more than one, it's not on your own, you're not, still not in space on my own having a relationship with myself. Well, you, you def it's definitely about the people that you're with and their contribution to that dynamic and and how it all works. And we've got a you know, magnificent um, staff, a magnificent playing group and a magnificent coaching panel that have great acumen and um, strengths that they bring to the table from a professional standpoint, but they're also you know, very good people um, with, with great... Um, you know, personal strengths that come to the table, their, their personality. Um, and we're very, we feel like we're a very genuine, authentic group of people who are prepared to trust and share in each other. Was that not happening? On each other. Was that not happening? No, it was happening, but just not to the level that anyone recognised it. Generally, when you win, then people want to know why you win. Um, and they'll go to, the, you'll, you'll look for the more positive elements. When you lose, you'll look for why you're losing and you'll go to the more negative elements. The reality is is that there's positive and negative happening in every environment, every football club, and in every environment all over Australia, all over the world. So we're not getting everything perfect now, but we get some, we get some um, positive uh, views and some, uh, and some space and wriggle room to make errors mm. because the general momentum is going the right way. When it's going the other way... There's no room? Well, there's less. There's less room, and there's and you know that's just the way the world works. The club provided um, probably the most lasting images of 2019 when Kyron Maguire joined mm. your team, um, and then in the aftermath, you go this this young boy has terminal brain cancer. So that's sort yeah. of the reality that sits over it. What was it? Um, what? Why did you take that on? What? What is that? What is that worth to a team? But particularly, what is it worth to bring, to, to do that with a family? Yeah. And, and there's no consoling what's going on in that family, and yet this beautiful moment yeah. exists. And even even the word worth or value and sort of thing, what is it to us? I mean, what is what it is to us is, the, is really is an altruistic opportunity to share an experience for this young fellow and his family, and that's Kyron Senior. Um, and I was touched by a five-minute conversation that I had with him on the Wednesday whilst um, Kyron Jr. Was, was kicking uh, the footy with some of our boys on the track. And, um, you know, our lives go on, their lives will go on with the, with the same challenge that they faced before Friday night and it will exist for a period beyond. Um, but, and it doesn't change anything for, for Kyron and his, and his dad. Um, but the fact that we're able to provide those opportunities, and I think the AFL, AFL clubs across the board, you know, James Harm, uh, James Harms yeah, with the with, with the young fella, yeah, you know, that was awesome nice, to see. It? And I, but I actually, I would really, um, I would really advocate that we, that you guys in the media and your producers can choose to go down that path more for the benefit of society and the way that football and footballers are viewed. If we can see the humanity and the, the human aspect of people and that that's what we are and the best of us rather than trying to pick apart the worst, I think that's the, that's the way to go. And we can change the way the game's viewed, we can change the way some players are viewed and we can be a bit fairer on, on the, the guys that, that go out and, and um, play their hearts out on a weekend. You, you've, people now say, Bucks is quite an authority figure now, a spokesman 
for the game, if not an ambassador for the game. We know you're coaching Collingwood, but often when I tune in and I read and listen to you, you're talking about a wide range of, of issues. Is that something that you're aware of? Is it something that you're really comfortable doing? No coach does it in their early couple of years. There's no doubt about that. You just coach and shut your mouth. Mm. But you're so, you seem so accepting now of your role and, and your strong voice. Yeah, well, I'm, I enjoy my conversations with Jared on, on SEN and, and I think we talk about real issues and we, we get some time to go a little bit more in depth. That's the, you know, the, the medium that, that radio is. It's probably a little more relaxed. You probably have a bit more time to, to break it down. But um, no, I, th I feel like I've, I'd like to think that I've always been a positive ambassador for football. I've always loved it. I've got a passion for it. I've always believed in it. Um, you don't have to agree with every decision or the way that it's, the, the way that it's um, um, perceived at times or necessarily with every rule change or anything like that. But I'd like to think that I've, that I've got the game's best interests at heart. I've, I owe a lot to it. So um, in my role, whenever I get the opportunity to talk about footy, it's always going to be pretty positive. So you do an interview with Jared mm. every week. Um, one press conference a week. Um, Two, pre, a, pre a, and a weekly post. one and, and, and the and post. The post yeah. And the post. Your Wolf Blast <laughs> interviews, which I don't know how many you've done, but I, I seem which to... Is, which, is, which is why yeah, I'm on here. Which is why <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Um, but you've, you've given up reading and watching media. Mm. Has that made you a more content person? I mean, clearly winning does. Oh. Clearly winning. How, do you want, how honest do you want me to be about this? Well, I'd be really disappointed. 100%? I'd yeah. be really disappointed. Well, I, I, um, no, I just thought that there were some battles that I choose to fight through a couple of, a couple of year period there, 16 and 17 in particular, that you're never going to win. Because the facts are that, um, let's just take you for instance, <laughs> you, you do this 24-7, this is your job. It's not my job. My job is to prepare a football club and to try and lead a football club. So if I think that I'm going to win or even be able to compete in a, in a to and fro to, that, that tries to stand for or to pick apart an argument around why I think that particular approach wasn't correct in the media sense, well, then it's just folly. So I, I probably had to have a good look at myself at some point and say, well, pick your battles. You know, use your time and your energy where it's most appropriate. Um, and, and towards the end of 2017 was when, or the middle of 2017 is when that became uh, abundantly clear to me. That, um, and um, yeah, I'm not going to look back. I, 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 you know, I did say, so I, I don't, I, I might have read one or two papers in the last year and a half. Um, I don't listen to sports radio anymore. I'll just, turn the music on and, and listen to a bit of music or silence, which is even better. Do you watch any of the TV shows? Uh, a lot less. No. I, I might I might tune in if it's around, but the, the TV's rarely on at home. Um, Has that I'm made you more con content as a person? Uh, by this, a long this way? This isn't going to be a good sales pitch for, <laughs> for all the media, but I think it, it has. I mean, I think I'm, I'm more, I'm definitely more frugal in what I, in what I pick up and what I, what I take in. Having said that, I, I always thought that it was important for me to have a, a, a 360 degree view of what was going on in the football landscape to be able to speak at a press conference or to be able to have an opinion. Um, the only thing, I probably don't feel like I need to have an opinion about as much these days. The vignettes that you've done with Wolf Blass, yep. you have gone really deep. Yeah, did you, you have. When you um, agreed to be an ambassador, did you think that that was going to be part of it, to tell the stories of when you're a young man coming to footy, the emotional toll of that, and the trigger points that have been um, teased out in those? Yeah, well, let's be clear, it's a commercial agreement, yeah. but I wouldn't have agreed to to do this with Wolf Blast unless I agreed with their values and the way that they go about their business and the way they carry themselves. And it just their idea of the chase, um, of underneath that, it's all about constant improvement and consistent improvement and reflection and you know, where's, your net, where's our next one or two percent coming from. So I think there's a, there is a synergy with the way I view um, you know, wanting to be better and wanting to improve yourself with the way that they go about it. So the questions I've been asked as a response have been you know, right down my wheelhouse, I suppose, and things that I'm passionate about. So to be able to 
talk about self-development, self-reflection and, and growth and maturity and um, you know, understanding yourself a little bit better has, has been natural for me. And it's, it's, it's a part of um, my job as a coach to try and assist young men to, to travel this journey as well, not just in a football sense, but in a, in a, in a very personal sense. So the commercial side to it is there is a competition yeah. that you can end up at every grand final for the next decade with a mate. Yeah, so I, I can, that's, that's a fair um, award. So you, all you need to do is go and buy a bottle of Wolf Plus wine um, now that it doesn't have to be AFL. You could, if you're a rugby fan and you're and you're in the rugby states, they could they could choose ten double passes or ten double passes to the NRL grand finals. But it's uh, it's not a bad uh, not a bad prize. So not bad at all. Go, go for it, Robert. Good to there for the 95 percent people that need to cope with alcohol, mate. We'll do it with. I will place. buy a wolf Lace bottle if you come in more often. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Go a bit harder. <laughs> I, know you're I will buy a dozen <laughs> if you give us another two appearances this year. I'll, I'll, def I'll definitely be here in the back half. Your book later well, in the year on mm. Coaches Night. It's good to see you. Thanks for Thanks. coming in. Cheers, Thanks guys. For